Recently, I moved my Lazius Niger petant colony in a DIY sand formicarium. Let's check how they are doing one month later. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Ants Vienna. If this is your first time watching us, on this channel we cover everything you need to know if you want to keep ants as pets. Giving you updates on my own ant colonies is a crucial part of the learning process, as you can better understand how each ant species behaves. Today we are going to focus on well-known ants that are often underrated by many. Yes, I am talking about Lazius niger. If you enjoy this video and find it helpful, leaving a like below would be awesome. And if you don't want to miss future ant updates and tutorials, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications enabled. Ok, so about a month ago I had my Lazius niger colony move into this homemade sand ant farm I've created. And let me tell you, if you are keeping or plan to keep Lazius niger as your pet ants, it is best to provide them a substrate to dig in, because they love digging. I've tried other formicaria you can buy before, but in my opinion, this species truly shines when they can dig their own tunnels. Of course, as an ant keeper, you still need to take care of the basic needs of your ants, like watering the terrarium sand in my case and feeding them both carbohydrates so the ants can execute their daily activities and protein, often in form of insects, for brood development. With all that being said, you are currently watching the inside of the nest our Lazius Niger made for themselves. If you look precise enough, then you should be able to locate the queen on the bottom left chamber. In the queen ant's chamber, the ants also keep their pupae. While on the upper right, they have a separate chamber where they develop their larvae for the time being. I'd say that at the moment we are looking at a number of 30 to 40 worker ants, but judging from that huge pupae pile, I'm expecting this to change for the better very soon. That's because I've been feeding them well. Shall we have a look on the outside, the outworld of our setup? This is their nest entrance. They have made a multi-tunnel access here, with a pattern that I do like a lot. This Lazius Niger colony sure houses some excellent architects. What I personally enjoy watching most is when they try to drag an insect through the entrance that is 
obviously too big for the opening. In circumstances like this, ants are often forced to rebuild their nest entrance in order to fit the feeder insect in so they can bring and feed it to their larva. What do you enjoy most watching your pet ant colonies? Let me know down in the comments. I read and answer them all. Let us change the perspective momentarily. You should now be able to see a part of their nest tunnels if you focus your eyes on the background. Of course, it is feeding time now and I've given them some honey water too, aside from those little moths. Overall, I'd say that my Lazius Niger feel most comfortable in this sand and farm. And if you plan to keep them, a setup like this is definitely worth a try. Let us just watch the ants a little longer. I hope you enjoyed the nest insights of our growing Lazius Niger ant colony. If you want to know more about these ants or the DIY sand ant farm I've made for them, feel free to check out the videos that appear on your screen right now.